instead of just pulling and updating, there may be times where we need to pull and merge changes. This is going to happen when we change files on our computer and someone else changes files on their computer. They push the changes to the server and when we grab those changes, we need to merge their changes in with the changes that we've made. If we haven't made any changes, then we don't have to worry about it. And if they haven't made any changes, we don't have to worry about it. But if we both make changes, then a merge needs to happen. To do this and show it, first off, I'm going to go into my file here and I'm going to go into one of the worksheets and maybe here in worksheet two, I'm going to right click, edit with notepad and I'm going to answer one of these. There's no need to turn 3.14 into a float. It's already a float. I've done that. I can save this, close it. I can commit the change. Now I'm going to take this change and push it to the server. I'm going to right click on this, hit HD Workbench. And well, what I'm going to do first before I'm going to push the change to the server, I'm going to go ahead and pull incoming changes in. I should really do this any time before I commit. I pull in the changes. And at this point, I can see that I've got several different things going on as far as branches go. The code that I have on my computer right now is on this branch and I can trace back and see this is a change that I've made right here and these are other changes that were on the server. So what I have is this branch, what's on the server is this branch and I need to get those changes merged back into what I'm working with. All I need to do is right click on this and instead of saying update because I don't want to just switch to this branch because then I would lose the changes that I made on my branch I'm going to merge with local. Brings up a dialog box that's great I click next and most of the time that's really all you need to do you click next and then I'm going to go ahead and commit those changes because that merge actually did change my file I merged the other changes into my file. So that was a change. I'm going to go ahead and commit that change. And then really at this point, I think I'm done because it says command successfully completed. Unfortunately with Tortoise HD, sometimes it doesn't quite realize that and it's not giving me the option to quit, which I can just hit the red button here and then I'm fine. Now I've got my particular changes here. I can go ahead and move those back up to the server. And there we go. I've got a little bit of complex branching here, but I've merged all of those changes into one file and my worksheets are all ready to go.